Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Gedu. In this video, we will going to show you the Note 8 tear down, step by step. This is the same phone we have used for the water test. To start, we will carefully apply the heat around the back frame to melt all the adhesive. It's wise to use a suction cup to pull off the back a little bit so you can start using your pry tool. In this case, we are using a plastic card. not insert it too much inside as you can see there is a flex cable for a fingerprint reader use a spudger tool to remove it as you can see there is still water inside um, I'm going to dry the water up with the clothes for now so this is what you see inside once you open the bag uh, there's a lot of water coming out. Well, let's get back to the tear down and see. We keep drying whatever water we see. All right. Let's unscrew all the screws from the shield which is protecting all the connectors in the motherboard. There are nine screws around the shield. Use an anti-static tweezer or any pry tool to pick up the shield. Carefully make sure you don't poke the cables, you don't poke the motherboard. Well, <laughs> we got an extra job on our hand. We keep drying whatever water we see, but in normal tear down, we just carry on with removing the connectors. Plastic exposure tool is the best tool to disconnect all the connectors from the motherboard. In order to remove the battery, carefully lift up that sticker adhesive, pull it, stretch it, make sure you don't go too fast to break it, otherwise you have to use a different method to remove the battery. Um, just keep stretching it, take your time, they are designed to come out easily. With a normal stretch without any jerks. See? battery comes off itself once they are out you can still see watermarks there now in the bottom of the phone we we'll unscrew the screws. Remove the shield. You can use a spudger tool or even your nails to pick it up. It's quite easy. As you can see, um, we are using the plastic spudger tool to disconnect the main flex um, and the aerial there are some screws on the charging board board now carefully remove the charging port we dry this up also and whatever water we see, we are drying this up. This is the back camera. Just lift it up. It will be easy to understand how many cables are connected with it. As you can see, there are four flex cables. Seems like each with one camera connected with it. And basically you can remove each camera separately from the back lens body well 
well as you can see it's done it's time to remove the front camera which is taped with anti-static golden tape first release that tape from the motherboard and it will become easy for you to disconnect the connector from the board use a spudger tool for that unscrew a screw on the motherboard as you can see there are two one in the bottom of motherboard and one on the left side in the middle of motherboard carefully dis disconnect the ADL cable you can use a tweezer but make sure that you don't poke the cable you are just picking it up from the metal part and remove the sim tray carefully lift up the motherboard from different sides just slowly and steady don't put pressure in one side it can crack the motherboard make sure that main flex is disconnected it's a LCD cable flex our motherboard is removed and again we got an extra job on hand we are keep drying wherever we see the water going to simply arrange all the parts which we have removed uh, even we can remove the fingerprint sensor from the back cover it is replaceable and we can put it in the manner you can see what else can come off there's a vibrator also over there we can remove well, as you know, we have used the phone which we have used in water test. While the water test, it was working fine. After 10 minutes, prior to this tear down, the phone had stopped working. We're gonna dry up the phone for a few hours and do some electronic cleaning and come up with a restoration video for you. So stay tuned. Don't forget to share and like us. And if you have any comments, please let us know. Hope to see you all soon. Bye.